Good afternoon, Pep. Um, if we could start with the health of the squad ahead of this semi-final. Sergio Aguero, for example, has scored some important goals down the years at Wembley. Could he be back? Is he, is he fit? No, not yet. And the rest of the squad, everyone else okay? Yeah, they are okay. Tired, but uh, good mood and they are okay. There was great excitement in midweek seeing Phil Foden and Jude Bellingham playing together, such young prospects. And I think you'll probably agree that a lot of us on this side, the media have, have questioned perhaps the, some of the selections of Foden and how many minutes he's had over the last couple of years. But when you see how he's playing now, does it just cement your belief that you've handled it absolutely perfectly to develop his potential? It's not about uh, what we believe in the past is what they show on the grass. So footballers have to show every single day. So the journalists will talk a lot about the past, talk a lot about the future, future, future in football is present. And present every day, it doesn't matter what uh, we have done, it's what you have to do today. And, and today everybody's involved and talking and talking in social media and the players and, and have to talk on the grass. Is the only way they can defend the prestigious and win all the present and win all the future. It's uh, it's simple as that. So when Phil in that case, everything we we get right now is on the grass, not in uh, in any other situations. And uh, he's going to continue being there. It depends on his performance, not what he has done so far in early age, young age. Uh, uh, give him more chances to play in the future. You have to, every game, win something to stay and the position stays in, in this club, in this team and playing every day. He has been playing so well of late. You've spoken about that. And when he has been picked, you've been playing him Lions, Lions, by and large on the left-hand side, um, which has meant that Raheem Sterling has been on the bench. At the moment, is it a case of either or with those two? Or could you... So, for example, select them both this weekend. And if so, which one of the two would you move, given Phil's been so comfortable out there? Of course. So if you know a little bit the trajectory of this team or the selections, the answer is uh, it's obvious. Of course, they can play together. They play many, many times together. Uh, we have a players like Phil can play in, I would say, in five positions. And Sterling Ferraris can play in three positions. So everyone can play in a few positions. So it depends on them. Thank you. Simon Stone, BBC, please. Um, hiya, Pep. Um, are, you, are you surprised at how quickly Thomas Tuchel has made an impact at Chelsea? No. No, I know what? from... Because I know him from Mainz. And uh, when I was in Munich the first season and after he went to Dortmund and spent maybe yeah, one or two games to see exactly the way he want to play. It was so quick. Of course, it's different that uh, to, to cover the team, take over the team during the, in the mid, you know, during the season. But uh, yeah, you have a lot of experience. I've been in, in, in a top club like Paris Saint-Germain, now another club like Chelsea. And, and you know, I, I knew it from the beginning, he would do a good job. I suppose they have got the same situation as, as you have in that they've just come off the back of a, a big European semi-final then they've got to get up for, for big games like um, tomorrow. So how difficult is it as a manager going from a big emotional game like Wednesdays and then having to back up so quickly into another big game and then it's game after game like that? It's much, 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 much easier. Imagine play that game after not qualify for the semi-final of the Champions League. It will be tougher, tougher, tougher. So, of course, I would would love to have more days. Uh, first, to enjoy our qualification a little bit and uh, have time to recover and to prepare better the, the, the game. But the schedule is the schedule. And when you are in contender in no competition so far, so you have this handled this schedule. There's no complaints at all. Today's uh, guy is training well. And, uh, and tomorrow we're going, you know, to face one of the best teams in Europe without discussion and try to do good performance to reach the final.
you, you always say that your players can't play every single game. It's impossible. But do you have to, for big games like this, do you have to try and get your best team on the pitch? Yeah. Yeah, maybe, yeah. Maybe it's going to play the best team on the pitch tomorrow to win the game. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm going to tomorrow to play in this stage of the season. I'm going to play the best team the best team uh, to win tomorrow. Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Hi, Pep. How are you doing? All right. All right. Um, I, I know you said before when I've asked you about the quadruple that it's not possible. But let's just assume that it is still possible. Um, how big a week is this now for you? The two games at Wembley in deciding how many trophies you're going to win this season? Ian, I know my, my answer to this lovely question. We are not in the, in the position to talk much further. I know what I said in my first answer when then. So you want to talk about the future and the future and the future. And the reality is the training today and the game tomorrow is the only I'm concerned. The rest, I don't care. Absolutely. I could care less, I would say. Um, Kevin De Bruyne the other night was absolutely outstanding for you in Dortmund. I mean, he really led the team. He picked the team up and, and, and was outstanding. We often say there isn't, you wouldn't swap him for any player in the world. Is that, is, are you that thankful to have him in your team? You really wouldn't swap him for any other player on the planet? Yeah, he's arriving in a, in a good feeling. I think against Leicester play after international break was a standing, the game he played against Leicester. And after the games he played, he didn't play against Leeds uh, for try to, to, you know, to everybody be involved. And then Dortmund played good. And uh, yeah, arriving, I think the last, yeah, more than half, six weeks we have ahead in the best, in the best condition, mentally, physicality, and uh, extend the contract uh, in the club is not just, I think, good for him, for the family, for ourselves, for everyone. So, yeah, hopefully he can continue in that level. And finally, Chelsea under Thomas Tuchel. The, the kindest way I could describe it is that the, the way of playing is pragmatic. Some people have said the play is quite boring. Um, in terms of the way you've, you've seen him under Chelsea under Tuchel, very different to the Chelsea before under Frank Lampard. Every manager played in the, in the way they believe. Uh, Frank did uh, an incredible job in the first seasons. Like uh, we could not sign players and uh, and qualify for the Champions League. He had made an incredible run in the Champions League. Uh, I admire both as a person, as a as a manager. So yeah, tomorrow we face Thomas. That uh, he knows how I admire him and uh, how good he is as a manager, and he's doing a good job. Will be a good battle, and and uh, yeah, ready to face to face this game. Guys, if you're looking to ask an embargo, now's a good time. But we'll go to Fred Calder. We just just called them. Hi, Pep. Um, after after being so demanded by Borussia Dortmund in both legs and still getting the result, um, do you think that mentally wise you are maybe the stronger position you've ever seen this squad in? Always we were strong as a team. So I said many times that it tells in no game in the Champions League, the margin is so minor. So in that case was penalty, in other cases could be disallowed it. So and everything can change. And the team is the same and the mentality is the same. So I don't want to ruin this competition what we have done good during 10, 11 months. I'm sorry. I don't want to judge. I never judge in the past, having success in my old teams. And even not had success in the last stages for the Champions League for one or two games, ruin all the season. The season is every day, every three days. And when one team arrives in these stages, fighting for all the titles, all is me, my compliment, my respect for these players. Like we didn't have break for the last season after the defeat in Lyon. We didn't have holidays. And look, the season we have done overcome a tough situation in the in the beginning. So that's why. Of course, the results help a lot, and we cannot deny how all the backroom staff, staff, are incredible delight. The players, the first ones to be in semi-final for the Champions League. So come on. So sometimes when it's tough, and you need time, and uh, 
you spend a lot of years to get something, you give more value, more credit. And, and, and that's why it's so nice. It's like life. Everything you get immediately or without effort is not nice. It's not nice for the future. It's not, don't give the, the don't give ourselves the deserve what, 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 what means. We know how difficult it was to reach the semifinal and that's why the happiness is even higher that it would happen against Monaco, for example, the first season on the second ones. I cannot deny, we would love to, to reach the semifinals before, but sometimes it's difficult, but we were there and every season we were there and next season we'll be there in the Champions League. That is important, be in the Champions League next season, we'll try again. When we know that, well, we can reach that step because we did it. Now these players know they can reach semi-final Champions League and that will be the target the next season. And, uh, and that's why it's important. Sometimes it takes time. And that is not bad. Important is be stable as a club organization and fight again and be next season again. For one bad decision, the referee, what bad performance for one day or maybe 10 minutes for bad reason. Are you going to judge one season or four seasons because the Champions League doesn't work? Come on. So what messages we're giving to the to the young generations to see just one or two games, you can judge all completely season. Now we are good because we're in semifinals. And now what we have done in the past is perfect. And we are not in semifinals, a disaster because we are not able. When the margin, it was goal difference, not qualify for semifinals in the past. It was goal difference. And now because, yeah, we, we were better, but we could go out. Doing the same against Dortmund, we could be out. The same. The important is fight and being every year there. And at the end, that's why, especially, especially for the players like deserve for these players, the players in the past, that we cannot do it. I'm more than delighted to, to, to enjoy the semifinals, knowing that the best way to reach the semifinals in the best moment and best form is continue. Continue every day fighting and fighting, be ourselves in a competition like now, if you cup, to reach the, the most tradition, the most oldest, you know, cup in the world, and uh, reach the FA Cup final. Um, we will love, we will love, you know, to, to reach it. And after Aston Villa in the next games, Carabao Cup, and after we'll have time to think about uh, Paris Saint Germain. Okay, we'll set the embargo for 10.30 this evening, please, guys. We'll start with John Smith. 